May 21st, 2017, and this video is called, Is TEPCO Using a Shield for Radiation Readings on Turbine Building Roof? Now, before I even get into the video I took, this is a update from TEPCO as of May 12, 2017. It's basically the situation of storage and treatment of accumulated water at the Fukushima plant. And basically, this update is uh, from May 4th, May 11th, and May 18th, 2017. And basically, what I want to show you is that they're trying to show us that this is uh, reactor buildings 1, 2, and 3. There's water in the basements. And this is from the aquifer that runs through the, the underneath the plant. And it gets in the basement in the buildings in the reactor building and the turbine building and what these arrows are they're pumping this radioactive water out and trying to process it in these buildings and eventually it ends up getting into this the, the uh, wastewater supply tanks so you could kind of look at that yourself that's the uh, TEPCO uh, press release now this is a mess over here. Now, this is what it's showing is the 72 uh, cubic meters a day, it looks like, is uh, flowing through that. But what I want to show you on this video, I took this video on the 16th and then another one on the 18th. And what someone was trying to tell me on one of my comments is that they seen a fire on unit three on the 17th so it's kind of like a pretty bizarre coincidence because i don't do this every day but just by me this is reactor three over here now for me to have recorded the 16th and 18th and someone said that there was a fire that they actually seen on the the 17th is like finding a needle in a haystack because when I show this video, the video at the end, this is a two-hour video I recorded. It's right over here is the uh, the smoke. Watch over here. See, it's starting to come out right there. See that little plume? Now, this is on the 16th which would make sense if this is catching fire and they seen it on the 17th and I'll show you there was such activity on the 18th now look at on the 16th here there's nothing really happening at the site except this bizarre thing watch on the turbine roof of unit 2 this is unit two right here the one that didn't blow up this is one two that's three and then four is to the right but check out this activity over here this is quite bizarre and i think i, I did a video earlier i thought this was like a vent or something and this thing is going to start moving around you're going to see a bunch of people walking around here and it looks like they're going to head straight for what I think this is a shield. And it's going to move around. And you're going to see all these people moving around. Now, my guess is that this is a shield. And they're actually up on this roof inspecting something. Where the radiation must be pretty intense. Closer to unit 2. And that's why they want to stand behind this whatever the heck it is, some lead shield of some sort. Maybe they're taking readings. I don't know. And I'll try to point this out. I'll push it up just a little bit. All right, there it is. See that person came out over there? And now we're going to see about four people 
they, that are going to go behind it and move it. Watch this. Here they come. See, there's one person. Looks like he goes behind here. Here's two more people. Boom, boom. Now one comes out. The second person comes out. Third person comes out. Now look at this thing is starting to move now. Isn't that bizarre? It looks like little puffs of smoke are coming out over here. Now they're coming back. Going behind that little shielding. Here's the second person. It's kind of like you wonder what they're doing behind that thing. Look, it's moving now. There's someone coming back to behind it. There's little puffs of smoke coming out right over here. Now look at it, it's moving again. Looks like there's a couple people that move with it. Isn't that bizarre? Here, there's some people with what I think is the shield. How would you like to be one of those guys? I bet you they could write a book. Now here comes a person right there. There was a person there.
And now look, they're all like moving away. Now that's put back in place and all the people are gone. I think they were doing some readings over here. Let's kick this up now to 60. They're done here. Now watch this. The smoke starts, well you could even see here there's smoke that's pouring out or steam. I don't know what that is. Now watch over here. See something's happening right over here. And pretty soon you're going to see the smoke start coming up. Here it comes. That looks like smoke to me. This is reactor three. And that's the horizon with the ocean. So I don't think this is a ship or anything. This is coming out of the same place and it looks like it's uh, some smoke. And this would make sense because, like I said, a comment was put on that they seen a fire on reactor unit 3 on the 17th. Now, unit reactor 3 building is emitting airborne particles of radiation as the spent fuel burns uncontrollably. Now, if you could see smoke, that means you must have a fire. Now these radioactive particles are being put into the air and they land somewhere, possibly in the garden that's causing these mutations or actually on your head while you're walking down the street. Now what you don't see are the uncountable radioactive particles floating up into the air. You can literally see the fumes coming off the tops of that building. Now this is on the 18th. This is, would be the day after the fire. And if you notice in that other video, there's very little movement whatsoever. Now here's reactor 3 here, unit 3. Top is gone, it was blown off. Now look at all these people that are working here now. I've never seen this kind of activity, and this is only one hour recording. Look at this. You got a guy, or a couple guys on a lift over here. 
You got cranes working here, cranes working here. This crane is working over here. And look at all these people come marching out. Now these are some of look at that. These are some of the bravest men in the world, in my opinion. They must be freaking out. I'm kicking it up to 30 times. Look at this activity here. This is what should be happening every day, 24-7, with the catastrophe that's happening over there. You got people working up here. People working on this crane. Look at these people going... There's no way you would catch me over there, but like I said, these are some of the the bravest men on the planet. Too bad they work for a jackass corporation named TEPCO. But I'm glad that they're doing this. Look at all this. I don't know what that thing is. It's going to bring it right around here. Things swinging like crazy. Now one of these days, we're going to go look at this live camera feed. And this thing's going to be probably either be exploding or on fire. Now, these people are risking their lives to do all this stuff. Which I... Uh, we all should be indebted to uh, them because somebody's got to, you can't just let the thing sit there. But we're in unchartered territories. We don't know what the heck is happening with the uh, amount of meltdown and cover up. So there is no rule book on actually what to do over here. <laughs> 